Hello everybody and welcome back to Simon Plays. I'm Simon and today we're playing Rogue Tower. I've played a bit of this, I'm not really good at it. Uh, <clears throat> I've reset my save so I can show you the game from the start. Uh, so let's get right into it. This is essentially a tower defense game, right? So we'll start with something simple, we've got double defense. So you have uh, two lanes from which uh, creeps will spawn and try to get your tower. Your tower has 10 HP if 10 creeps or I mean some creeps have higher values but you get the point. If you lose 10 health from your tower by creeps reaching the tower then you lose. Every time you hit expand uh, creeps will spawn a wave essentially. It's counted here. You have some gold to place down weapons. So we only have a ballista right now. And every time you place uh, a weapon, any weapons of the same kind will have increased cost. So we'll just place a couple of them for now. That should be more than enough. I'm just doing it to show you. And we'll expand this way. Okay, so a creep spawned. It was killed. All's well. Nothing too crazy. Let's keep doing this. So we're starting to see a few elements on the map. There's houses and there's trees and there's iron veins um, you can place turrets next to houses uh, it only counts the ones that are on the same level so if i place it here this one doesn't count only this one counts right so i'll just place one here it also says plus one it says plus one because it's elevated right there's level of levels of elevation this is zero this is one uh, do we have any higher ones the tree is on two i think there and it goes up to three right and the higher they are the bigger range they have this is the turrets range uh the bigger their range and the more damage they do they get plus one base damage in all their uh, stats right so this has a base damage of 11 that means uh, it does 110 health damage 55 armor damage 55 skill damage because the multipliers are smaller and you can also choose priorities. Ballistas are good at uh, mostly destroying health. For now, we don't need to choose any priorities. We'll just place another ballista here because uh, as you progress uh, and the levels increase, more and more creep spawn and you need uh, more and more turrets. We'll also place one here. This is a plus two. So this one got through. Oh, he didn't. He almost did. So every few levels, I think it's every three at the start, but then... Uh, it increases uh, you'll you'll see what i mean yeah, it happens sooner uh we can choose uh one upgrade um this is generally really useful because now if we chop this tree we'll only get nine gold which is nothing if there's a chance to get a upgrade card it's it's very good but it's just one tree or two we have access to and the chance is not that high so it's not really important right now. We might pick this up later if it gets served again. For now, we'll just take uh, all ballistas still one damage to health, plus one damage to health. Uh, since so early in the game, health damage is very important. So we'll just take this. Uh, let's see, do you have any good positions we can place? So you generally want areas like this, because if I place a turret here, it can attack both on this side and this side. If it if there's no one on this side to attack, it will automatically attack on the other side. And we'll just place another one here for the same purpose. Uh, they can attack both ways. And we'll keep it funny. Oh, this is a nice spot. Has some plus threes. Couple of plus threes. So yeah, this side uh, obviously needs uh, some more power. We'll use both of them. I mean, uh, plus three positions are very good, so we'll just take both of them. Uh, and enemies with armor started spawning now, so we'll probably need some more this way too. This is not a very good position, it's a plus one base damage, but... Okay, so he might get through. Yeah, yeah, he did some damage. Okay. Um, it won't expand this way, I think, since this is the way the guys uh, reach the turret, the tower. So we can unlock some more high ground. Place some more there, but we don't have any more money. 
No more money. So the game feels rough at the start, but the, uh, the game is a roguelite. Um, when you lose, you gain XP and you can use that XP to get permanent modifiers to your towers and whatnot. Uh, so it becomes easier the more you play and the more you lose. Um, so we have a mortar. Mortars are very good. They're very strong against armor. And they have a huge range. So we'll take one and we'll actually chop this tree even though yeah, it, sells, it, it says 36G because as, as you progress it multiplies. Right, their base times six. I think their base is six or something. Um, so we'll chop this one, even though it's just for gold. So we can place a mortar here. Oh, uh, we missed 12 gold. Okay, let's do this. Wait for 12 gold to happen, and then the mortars have a huge range. And we'll say target priority more star more than progress. progress. And you see the mortars, yeah, sometimes they miss because they, they predict, which is good, right? They try to predict where the enemies will be by the time uh, that it lands. Uh, but sometimes the turrets manage to kill the enemies before they reach there. This is a very good setup, right? Because you have all this space in the middle that we can place turrets on, even if it's just uh, plus ones or plus twos. Uh, the fact that they will probably be able to attack the enemies uh, when they're walking through here, through here, through here, it's very good. Like, this is a very good setup for us. If we hadn't actually reset the game, we'd probably, probably be able to go almost infinite here, right? Uh, finish the, the game. This is a very good setup. Uh, but due to our uh, roguelite elements not being... Uh, developed yet right we don't have any base buffs uh, we'll probably not make it too far so we don't have enough money to place anything we'll just keep pushing yeah see and they will hit armor harder see they have a 15 multiplier for armor while the ballistas have only five so they do 60 damage to armor these do 330 damage to armor insane it just takes their armor out in one hit and see, yeah, here, yep, predicted they would be here when it attack, even though it's, they were here when it started, right? So we have some money now. You can use money to upgrade towers. Uh, it's not really useful right now. Um, I don't know, is the range good here? You can also always um, delete a tower. Where is it? Demolish and you get back as many gold as it costs and it also reduces the cost like you never used it So it costs 190. I place it for 190. I can demolish for 190 But if it's leveled up or you've invested more points in it like more gold to upgrade it uh, Then you obviously lose some right. It doesn't give you back the uh, Investment you have done for upgrades. We'll just place this one here again very good range It can hit all this path all this path all this path Excellent. Let's just keep moving. I can somehow speed up the game, sadly. So we'll have to do with this. Again, we are served golden forest, but still we haven't found an actual forest, just trees. Uh, this is not very good. All towers gain crit chance equal to the level, but lose one page damage. This is better as you progress into the game. Obviously, towers get XP. Uh, when they hit health, they get health damage XP. When they hit armor, they get armor damage XP. Eventually, they level up and they increase their damage uh, in the respective category, right? Uh, if we do this, we'll lose one base damage on here, so the multipliers will give us very much lower yields and the critical, I mean, gain crit chance equal to their level, so that's 2% crit chance, it's pointless, right? We'll just get one damage 
one extra damage to health. This is the second level, it says plus two, but it means uh, one more than previously, right? We already have plus one. So we'll take this. We have 200 gold, 203. We can't actually place a tower, so we'll just keep spawning more. Now things are obviously starting to get rough. We should tell this guy to do armor. We'll copy, paste it here. So one of them can focus on most armor too. Maybe that would even be enough. To actually stop them. Um, we can place another one here. Yeah, these two guys just made it through. So we're down to six kills. Okay. Uh, again, nothing to do. We'll just keep going. And now they start spawning these guys. These guys, when they die, they spawn more enemies. And uh, about here is where we lose, right? Uh, on the first run of a new save. This is about where you lose. I think the next wave is a boss. Or the one after that. So if you don't lose here, you'll definitely lose to the boss. Well, they're managing, but yeah, a lot of guys got through there. And as soon as you, they kill these guys, they're gonna spawn more. You could try to stop them, I guess. And then this run too, they try to rush for the tower. Every time. Yeah, this guy's gonna get through. And oh, we still have one kill point. Okay. So we'll go to the guys um, that we've told to do armor damage because it seems that the armored guys are the ones that actually get through. And we'll give them a bit of a nudge. Uh, also, you see the cost uh, equals the XP remaining to get the level. See, this is at 0 XP, 0 XP, so it costs 50. Uh, this is a, has some XP, so it goes 44. Alright. Uh, we'll just. Uh, seven, seven. Can we take them both up to eight? Not yet, but soon. Oh, there's a forest. Maybe it would be worth to have the leaf now. Uh, also, enemies give more gold. Uh, depending on the amount of turrets, different turrets that have hit them, not different uh, units, like different types, right? So if you hit an enemy uh, with just a crossbow, when he ballista, when he dies, he will give two gold or something like that. Uh, if you hit them with this one too, they'll give double that. So the more turret types you have, the better, you know, uh, there's strategy to it. So we died, right? Um, it gives you some uh, very nice stats, it tells you uh, what type of uh, towers you used, what damage they did, and then it gives us defended 11 levels, levels, 132 XP, new double defense record, because this is the first time we're playing the double defense map, uh, 198 bonus XP. So now we can go to upgrades. And then there's a huge tree of upgrades, huge tree of upgrades, right? With different turrets you can unlock and whatnot. Uh, I always start up here, card draw one, draw an additional card when you draw a grid card. So every time you're offered cards, you will have more options. Great. All enemies drop an additional one gold. Yes, please. Begin the game with an extra hundred gold. Yes, please. The mana stuff, not very useful unless you unlock some more towers, right? Uh, then you can increase your tower's hit points, yes please. And then uh, there are some special buildings that have various effects on the map. For example, you remember the iron vein we saw? If you place a mine next to it, uh, it gives plus one max hit point to the tower and 10% chance every level to repair one damage, right? Um, we have plenty of XP remaining, so tell you what, um, 
we'll get this. All mortals deal an additional one damage to health. Mm, this gives them bleed. I don't know. I'll unlock the frost keep. The frost keep uses mana to create a blizzard which slows nearby enemies 50% of the damage it deals. But if we're gonna take this, we might as well take these. Uh, generate one mana per second at the tower. Some towers require mana in order to function and increases your maximum capacity. Uh, we still have a lot of points. We'll just take the status effects. So bleed does more health damage, uh, fire does more armor damage, and this one does more shield damage, I think. Uh, we'll take one of it. Uh, it just increases the maximum, right? So enemies if a, tar if a turret does poison damage, uh, for example, if it does 50 poison damage, when it hits the enemy, uh, 50 stacks of poison are put on them and slowly they go, the stacks go down and they take damage, right? So if it runs out, they stop taking damage. Uh, the more you can stack, the better, the more damage they will eventually take. Uh, but some damage is wasted there, right? Because the enemy sometimes dies with 300 stacks on them, so... Uh, yeah, I'll take this and this. I like mortars. I'll take the plus five range. Mortars are life. And we have zero XP now. So let's try once more. Let's go for the triple defense this time. This is way harder. Way harder, right? Way harder. So let's... We're gonna be a bit more conser conservative with my money, right? So we'll place just one here. Expand. Just one enemy, we can kill him easily with this. Uh, these are plus threes, very good. I'll place one there and then expand this way. Yeah, okay, we found the plus three to put a, a turret, that's good. And then we'll try to do the same here. It's a plus two only, but it's fine. Yeah, maybe we should have placed more turrets before we start taking damage. Um, we don't have any poison or burn yet, so these are pointless. Shields don't spawn until much later in the waves, so we'll just take the mortar again, since I like mortars so much. And we'll try to find a good position for it. I think this will eventually be a good position. It has good coverage for now. We we'll just started to focus on armor. And then we'll use the rest of our money because uh, they're probably gonna get to our tower if we don't. I think that's enough for now. Uh, let's see. Whatever, that was a missed shot. Okay, one got through. Uh, should then use some more money, I guess. Place one there. Mm, yeah, sure, there. And I don't have a good position here, so I'll expand this way. Oh no, we didn't find a good position either. So, flat terrain. Come on, guys. Okay, they did it. Um, so, it seems these guys are the ones that get the closest to us. These are not very good positions because some of the range is lost. But sometimes the maps uh, weave around and fold into themselves, so you never know, this might be okay. Yeah, so clearly you can see, right, level 3 is much, much harder because you don't have as much as many resources per lane uh, to use. Uh, we got this, but we have so little mana region. It's not gonna work, it, it will consume all our mana and then stop working. So I'll take the Ballistas do one damage to armor. There are upgrades to our mana region, but for now, we don't have any. I'm gonna go. Yeah, this side definitely needs a reinforcement the second time the guys get to the tower. And the middle one still. Uh, oh, we still don't have enough money. 
Yeah, that's disgusting. We have actually lost now. Yeah, see, it will fold back and then we can utilize the tactic we spoke about before where you hit both sides with the same turrets, so you double the value. We're just gonna lose here. I just wanted to show you that uh, level 3 is <laughs> very, very hard. You cannot just go to level 3 with without uh, sufficient upgrades, right? But we're gonna get some more upgrades. Uh, all, all enemies drop an additional one gold when they die. Um, we can unlock, I guess, more of these. Eventually, we'll need them. Maybe if we go back and here again. No, it needs two more. It's not about the refreshing. Mana banks increases. But they're expensive, though. They're very expensive. It costs like 500. Or something like that. Oh, what's this? From the game. Oh, yeah, these are unlocked upgrades, right? You have almost all upgrades on your ballistas except the finishers, I guess. Um, I guess we'll take. Uh, we need two cheap stuff, so we'll take the mine and we'll take this. So now we can take the. Oh, no, we can't for 2xp sword. Yeah, the treasury. So we'll just take repair. Every level that is between a 0% to 33% chance your tower repairs one damage. Based on how much damage your tower has taken. Okay. Let's do that. And we'll just play a single defense. Uh, see how far we can get as is. And then I think you get just a fit. We'll just end the episode. I don't know if I'll make this a series. Maybe if people like it. I just wanted to show you the game. So we can be a, a little more uh, spendy here since this is a one lane, right? There's nothing to worry about. This will be uh, significantly easier than what we've experienced so far. Oh, well, we'll place them th here to get one. Next to is Corgi? Why? I thought it was one gold per Ballista or whatever tower nearby. Uh, mine regenerate 100% of the max mana. Uh, I guess we'll take this in preparation of getting the priest thing. Place a couple of those over there. I think that's fine. Yeah, we don't have place it more and then it also folds which is absolutely great because this kind of back over here too double value again There's a lot of mines here, which is not very good because they're blocking my plus three spots. But yeah, we need to tell these guys to do armor, do copy, paste, paste, paste. We need a few guys focusing on armor. Tesla coils, again, they use too much mana and I'd rather use it for the slow. I'll take this. I think we'll get to the point where we see shields in a single lane game. So I'll just place it here. It's not very good, but... Avoid plus ones, but uh, having double value makes it kind of worth it, even for plus one. But uh, zeros, I don't like no. this, is too, too low damage, and again, it folds right. This is crazy good. We need to place one over here or over here. Oh, 
Actually, because towers have to attack to get XP, uh, the less towers you have, the more leveled up they would be. You just have to find the balance between having enough towers to clear the wave, but not too much, but to spread the XP too thin, right? So they reached over here, which is uh, very close to the tower, so we shouldn't feel bad about placing another one. Oh, don't have enough money. Okay, and this is a double spawn now. This is literally a double wave, right? There's two lanes now here, so there is two waves. Uh, we'll place one here, yep. And we'll paste the most of the thing. It's not a very good one. You know what? Maybe I'll demolish it and place it up here. Give it more range. It's still not very good. I'm hoping this holds back. I'll be crazy with all the clusters here. I'm gonna give this guy some armor damage. Give this guy and this guy some armor damage too. Are we doing it? Enough. Oh yes it is. Oh yes it is. Ah, these are bad. These are very bad. We can keep stacking mana stuff and hope that we get some way to spend our mana. And I'll keep going this way, hoping that it holds. Nope, it doesn't. I'll place... Oh, we don't have enough. I'd like to place one here, plus three, or here. Yeah. It's gonna attack every enemy that spawns. Wouldn't be really good right now. I'd rather, you know what? I'll just give you more armor damage. I'll do him too. We've been very unlucky with our upgrades. Very very unlucky. Never knocking. Well, that's a few, most of them, right? That was good enough. Uh, 265, huh? Do we keep bumping these guys? I think we do. I think we do. Mm, this one's a good one. Yeah, I'll give him a couple points. I'll give him a couple points. I'll take him up to eight. And let's push this way, I guess. You wanna stagger them, right? When you get double spawns, this was a mistake. I should have pushed more here. Uh, when you get double spawns, you need to stagger, uh, push the one lane while leaving the other here. Because this way, if you push this more, these guys will take longer to reach here, these guys will go first and then it will be a more steady stream of enemies instead of them being all around here, right? It was a mistake to push this way. But now we'll just keep pushing this way since we started. won't die on this round, on this level. Yeah, yeah. We're good. Are we? I want to upgrade, but I'm thinking that we might actually make it. I'm not gonna save my money. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... Where should we place more ballistas? Definitely want one here. I'll give him this and this. And we'll see how it goes. We'll keep pushing this way. So now see these guys. They will come first. And they won't be all bunched up. Well, eventually they will be, but the more you push, the less of this you get. 
Uh, we'll keep upgrading the armor damage. Since we didn't get a mortar this round. Get them up with 10 if we can. Kind of stabilized, right? Definitely. This next round is a boss fight. Mm, I'll take the plus one damage to health. And then pump this a couple of times. Not in a very good position, I don't really. Oh, that was a mistake. An accident. Uh, so we'll give this guy some more armor damage and we'll keep pushing this way. Uh, stagger more. Ideally, we'd have a couple of level 2 or 3 positions around here. And we would upgrade them to infinity, to the moon. But that didn't work for us this time. That's okay. Good. Uh, so that wasn't the boss. Is it at 15? I think it's at 15, maybe then. Now, the boss, when you have uh, more than one lanes, spawns at random. So you always want to push all the lanes, right? Because if you don't push one of the lanes, well, in this case, you'd still have time, probably. Uh, but when you have a double lane scenario or a triple lane scenario, you need to push all lanes. Otherwise, the boss might spawn right next to your tower. And if the boss reaches the tower, it's an instant game over. You don't get a second chance. I see the opportunity here to get double value from some turrets. So I'll place one here and expand. Oh, this is a very good. These are. Uh, you can place turrets here for plus 3 sometimes plus 4 they get higher it's the only way I think to get plus 4 through castles oh, i the armor damage here health damage is almost never an issue right? We made it to level 14 and we still haven't got another type of turret from our upgrades. We were offered one I think, but it didn't make sense to get the mana cost. And we didn't have mana yet. And we did not get offered at all, I don't remember. For sure. Might have been a bit this time. Okay, we're doing good though. We're doing good. We're clearing, we're getting money. Um, I'll keep placing turrets here. That's not enough, okay. Uh, of course, we'll up, copy this, paste, paste. Oh god. Oh, there's the boss. Ugly. <laughs> ugly, ugly. Um, can you focus ugly maybe? I'll place one here if I get enough money. It's not bad. Come on. Kill one. Kill one more. Uh, we won't make him focus. 
armor. Boss has, the first boss has only health, no armor, no nothing, so... If we manage to clear the chap... Start damaging him, that would be good. Maybe we should do a couple of health point damage here. Yeah, maybe we should have done some more... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We got bad cards, right? Get offered mortar, we didn't get offered the slow thing. We got two upgrades to our mana with nothing to spend mana on. Maybe that was my choice that was bad. But I think the alternatives were mines and whatnot, and they would be useless as well here. If the boss reaches, you're dead, so it doesn't matter how much health you got. I don't think we're actually gonna make it. You know what I'll do? Go all out on the chest damage. Yeah, we're not making it. So, you get the point for the game. Um, if you liked it, leave a like and subscribe so I know you want to see more of this. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.